Here we are, we done ventured over to St. Pete near Island Bar and Grill. Had Captain Brian picking us up in the awesome whip, the contender. And if you're not familiar with Captain Brian, he specializes in offshore fishing. He runs Fish Hawk Charters, and he also loves some American Red Snapper. Today we got a special video with Captain Brian, Fish Hawk Charters. What's going on guys? Hey, you guys wanna go offshore? This is the man to call. I'll be leaving his information down below. Also throw his number up right here. And uh, of course he'll tell you about it here in a minute. So Captain Brian, how long have you been offshore fishing? Uh, I've been offshore fishing pretty much since I was a little kid, doing the charters for about five years now. Nice. So did a lot of private individual boats, that type of stuff from Marlin and stuff, but now we're doing the charter thing. Good stuff. So as you may or may not know, American Red Snapper is, is here. And uh, that's what we're going to go try to target among some other species. What can we expect to catch today? Red snapper, red grouper, hopefully some scamp, maybe a blackfin tuna, mangrove snapper, yellowtail, porgies. Be a big mixture. Selfish wahoo cook. Hey, can't be mad at any of those things. We got a beautiful day. I think we have a seven to ten knot wind as the max. Well, one and a half foot seas out there. Hopefully one, one and a half if that's good. 70, 77 mile run to the first spot. Oh goodness, 77 mile run. We're going to Texas today, boys. Now, hey guys, make sure you pound that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and give these guys a follow. I'll also leave the, uh, their Instagram and things like that down below. Hey, let's go fishing. Now the boys, I could tell were eager, but also anxious. A lot of them hadn't been out that far into the Gulf. And we had plans for great weather, but Meteorologist got it a little wrong, a little rougher than anticipated. We got our boy Steve-O here pulling in the bait. We had a nice concealed bait trap out there in the Gulf that housed some great pinfish, made quick work of that. And of course, I found a comfortable spot in this bean bag to prepare mentally for a two and a half hour ride into the Gulf. Now, Ernie was loving every bit of it, and them trips were doing work. Let's get to it, catch some fish. Hey guys, we have made it. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Two and a half, two and a half hours later, we are here. It's pretty comfortable. And this contender was a piece of cake. Contender did as well. There's three uh, Yami uh, <coughs> 300s, man. Smoked it all the way here. Hey awesome guys. motors. They did a job, right? Ready to get these Akuma reels in the water. You ready? Absolutely. You ready. gonna catch you some American red snapper? Absolutely. Uh, we got the rods and reels to get it done with. The captain to put us put them on us. We got three, uh, three or four captains on this boat. We got a lot of Man. a lot of experience fishing, don't we? Yeah, I better go back and get one of those chairs to go sleep. We got power now. Smaller fish. Are you using my rod? You're using my rod. <laughs> What are you talking about? This ain't your rod. I told you that was my rod when you were soaking it up. Oh, where's mine? Oh, Brian's on too. Oh, look at that. Brian, those just by the wiggle. I'm thinking. You thinking? That was a long way, guys. Oh, yeah, come on. Get, the, get that workout in. Little red grouper. All right, Chris got his. Might be a red gooper. A little fire truck. All right. Oh, you you called it. You called it. That's pretty. That's a beautiful fish. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it. Oh yeah. I'm sure. Oh yeah. Nice work. Yeah. How's the current? It's been good. Yeah. Six or 
I told you if he was a decent fish, you were a snapper. Six pounder. Nice. Six pounder. Be careful. Heel plates fall. Sharp. Super sharp. Sharp. Like triple tail sharp. Yeah. Feel that right there. Yeah, like yeah. Okay, this is Razor. Same time. Fire him up. Now you know this. Boys and girls. Look at that. Brian. Nice. Steve O. I'll put you on them. Y'all want to come out here and do this? Better give them a call. Y'all get any bites up here? One up front. We're just in the basket. Right there in the basket. Cool fish. Roll White man's a ticket. Have it. Pull, pull, Abbott. Real, 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 real. Turn it up. Turn the right around. Turn the right the other way. There you go. Now, real, real. There you go. Nice and easy now. All right, Abbott's on, guys. Crap. Oh, double. Send it back down. Ernie, you, you ain't, you ain't on her. Good one, Abbott. Get slack. Yep, you're doing good. Before you go down. You're doing good, brother. Ryan's on. All right. It's all you, brother. You don't. Oh. It's all you. No, no. No, no. real that fish. <laughs> you real that in. Daddy. Daddy, you want this fish? No. Go ahead. Come get it. What you got? I figured you didn't have a bait if you weren't getting hit. How are you hooking them, Ryan? Are you hooking the them? Shrimp? In? Uh, I put shrimp down. Oh, you had a shrimp? Yeah. yeah. The world record hold. Yeah. Yeah. We, got some third, we got that one last year. It was 36 inches. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Up north off of Tarpon. That's all. Oh, red snapper! You get that thing right away. Wow. It's, 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 Got his, and there he is. Oh, come on now, beauty. All right, Abbott, what'd you get there, buddy? That's a long pull up, ain't it? Yeah. Hey, er, er, Ernie, if you got a bump, man. You got a bump, you ain't got no bait. Yeah, when you hit the bottom, you got to be tight. Yep. Have that line ready and tight as soon as you hit the bottom. Yes, they are eating it as soon as it hits the bottom. Here, take Steve. Support that, will you? Oh, hit the clicker on him. I did. Hit the clicker on him. Don't you like where they put the clickers on reels? Right, right, right where your right. hand's gonna Every hit it. Every conventional's got it right there. It's unreal. Maybe it it's does take a while else. to get down there. Maybe though. it's supposed to be there. There you go. Double. They probably got you. It takes a while to get down there, guys, with the two and a half. <laughs> oh, that's a five ounce. Oh, is this a five? Yeah. <laughs> It still takes a little bit. Oh, I bet. You huffing and puffing for? It's your second fish, bud. It's gonna be a red grouper. Did he come off? Come off? He came off. Nice. Yeah, he came off. Smaller. Small red There you go. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a tough one. Yeah. Oh, he's on a camera. <laughs> he's got the spotlight right now. All right, coach is all good. I'm fighting too hard.
What is it? Red seven eyes. Let me see what you got. Oh, so we got a nice scampi here. Nice scamp. Measure here a little bit bigger than the other one. Good job. Made a mess. Did I make a mess? No, I get it. All right, Steven's helping make this uh, right. There he goes. Let me see what you got there, Chris. Good job, man. Hey, what? What? Let me see what lure that is. Fish lab. Fish lab. I would definitely take a picture of. Him. I might use a draw. Go right around his jawbone. They're cooler when they're. Appreciate it. Twenty inches all day. He's a keeper. That's awesome, man. Heck yeah, a keeper. Keepers. Keeper red. Keepers. A there. scamp group. I've never caught one of those. I'm gonna have to get a line for that guy. That's cool. All right, guys, taking these green bags. Got a six ounce weight. Little chicken rig. I'm just hooking them like this. Oh, someone's on. Brian's on. So, so yeah, we're just dropping down. Wait for for the little, what feels like a nibble in 200 feet of water, but it's not. It's the fish eating your bait. And then it's on, man. Like right now, I just hit the bottom. So that took you a minute and 10 seconds to get to the bottom. Oh. Might have got my bait. I don't know, I might prefer that 25 to 35 foot range. I'd have them in the boat. Can't pull them out. No. He just looks like it. It's a bait. Just out here with a bass rod. Oh, yeah. That's what it looks like a big bass rod. Wear it out, boys. <laughs> what? Still got it. This is my first one, Adam. Is that your first fish? No. We're gonna put a flat line in when we move. Yeah. Who wants it? Who wants what? The fish. <laughs> oh, shut up. Take turns. All right, Captain, we get this one in. We're done for the day. <laughs> oh. Pay yes, attention to what you got going on. See that mango. Mango, mango snapper. Hey, see mango. You. hey, look at how easy he come on button. Hey, mangrove on the fish lap. Dude, that is. You get that mango in the back. That is. Got your hand on the gaff. It's kind of over. That's crazy. He looks like a dang they thirty. Get, they what start is getting it? big when they're. They're twenty-three and a half. Beast. Put this back down. Uh, you got shit on this. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, that's fun, guys. That is fun. Dude, yeah, you just wait. It takes five minutes to get down there, but then it hits. Then you bump up, open the bell. Bump up, open the bell. Oh, Bernado sign. Oof. Oof. Bernado wow. and two hundo. Gotta be some tuna. Flat line. I saw him over there. Yeah, Roger, on the bottom, for sure. Can you fish the flat line out? Huh? Can you fish the flat line out? Yeah. Nice one. Holy shit. Oh. Scamper. Boy, did a triple backflip. Dude, that jig just hits the bottom and they eat it. Yeah. Two per person. Tight, son. We're tight. Hey, they like up some fish lab, guys. Things on the bottom for 10 seconds. I, oh. thought, I told you as soon as I saw it, Jake, I was going to eat an instant. You're going to have to get some of them on board. Oh, I got something I can give you. Put them through the test out there. 
yeet. This outfit's great for this crew. Guys, this is the big old Komodo SS. You got one, Ernie? Yeah, you should get some of these, Brian. Yeah. Pretty sweet, really. I'm gonna put a piece of wood on there. Oh, yeah. My first American Red Snapper on artificial. <laughs> first on live and first on. That's freaking great. Nice one, buddy. Alright, who's your teeth? Oh, you're done. Dang, bro. That Take smells one, so up. bad. It does, man. It it's the mate's fault. Yeah. 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 That smells so bad. No, no, no. Do you want a picture with it? Yeah, I do actually. That's like my white. Uh, Where's that? Here, 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 here. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> What's that? What's wrong? Oh, I was just. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I was just putting this in there. <laughs> No, that, that scamp jumped out of there. <laughs> Alright guys. First bait this To the to your left? Right in the middle a little bit? Okay, over there. Yeah. That's cool. Get a video? There. Actually if you get me video dropping this, I'd love to get a, a video. Oh we got That's what they want guys. That thing is awesome. Yeah, for 20 bucks? Yeah, can't beat that. All aluminum. But it's a fish. You're on right here. Hey guys, we're back. Who's Ron? From the deep abyss. Breaking Chris's rod in for him. I like to, I like to break his rods in so they have good mojo, you know, so he catches something every so often. I just want to make sure it's a good rod. Yeah, you gotta get rid of that old stinky green back, bro. Put something alive on it. Okay, man. Hold my gun for me. Sure. No, this one. Yeah, I did. Yeah, that's a scampy. It's, it's a scampy. And I got your lawn. Is that your first scamp? That's my first scamp. Is that a grouper? Scam grouper? Yeah, he's in the grouper family, yes. Cool. How you tell the difference? Patterns on the... Yeah, and then the tips of his tails come to a point on that point. scamp. Yeah, it's good. Oh, he, and he's yeah. got real fine scales. Is that a keeper? Yep, 16 inches. All right, I got to figure this out real quick. Thank you, sir. Hey, guys. First spot was pretty good success, I would say. Gonna move about two miles and uh, see what happens. So stay tuned. What you got a speckled? I got a speckled or a pinfish? Maybe a pinner. Yeah, a big old flounder. I figured that's what it was. Uh oh. Captain Brian's hooked up. Open your bail. Oh, big old trigger. That's a cool one. I'm 
almost there. Come on, come on. That 200 foot sucks. This is 85. Dude, he's still pulling drag. Trigger gone. What's the drag on these things? 20 pounds? We don't even see color yet. We don't even see color. Hey guys, you guys want to pump pump like this, man? Make sure you hit up Brian and Steven. I think Josh might have a rock. You're missing that 25, 35 foot. Color. We got color. We got a big red snap. Right there, right there. Come to us. Come to us. Oh yeah, boy. That's what we're looking for. That's a red snapper. There you go, brother. God bless it, that thing. Cool. Nice trout. Dang. Ample trout. He was a hungry one. Ready? Oh, yeah. That's what we came out looking for, boys. You want to talk? Hey. That's some meat. <laughs> I don't need a bigger basket. <laughs> That's a good problem to have there. Yes, sir. Go on the high, boys. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Dear Lord. Oh, come on now. Oh, I might come. Not a keeper. Not a keeper. Here. What's going on guys? So, two hour ride back, and we are back. At least close. Gonna help them play up these fish, and then we might take them up to the restaurant to cook on. Yeah, it don't get much fresher than that. Stay tuned, we'll show you the catch here in just a second. I'm fucking empty today. You gotta do your job and empty that. Who's drinking truths? Who do you think? Christopher, the guy with the long hair? Oh, boy. Oh my goodness. Is that a Pretty. sexy fish or what? Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is not the full eggs. Brian hates me right now. It's for oh, you're too much. Nah. Alright guys, here's some of what we got. Check that out. Awesome. Uh, look at that. Yeah, baby. That is the fish coffin. <laughs> Take a nice nap in there, buddy. Yeah. Scampy. A nice scamp. Nice. Yeah, I think that was my first scamp. Oh, that's a mango right there, boys and girls. That is Chris's baby. On the fish lab. That's a good fish, why. man. Even though I caught a anchor tile. That's for That mangrove might have been the best. Mm. That mango is awesome, dude. Yeah, I love catching mangoes. Hey guys, so I'm here with Captain Brian. I wanted to ask him a few things, like, yeah, you know, uh, what got you into charter fishing? Just the love of being offshore fishing. Yeah. You don't ever know what you're gonna catch. The joys of watching people catch the fish that they've never been able to fish for. Yeah. Oh, uh, if you don't know, Brian was also very handy with dock work. Uh, he was uh, very helpful with helping get our dock completed and showed us how to build it so that was really cool of him to do that but prior to fishing you did a little bit of that right yeah, ring construction for 25 years but don't reach and out fished in between but don't reach out to him now at least right <laughs> no. at least right now no, anyway no he's no gonna more. stick to fishing for yeah, a minute <laughs> that's it. Yeah, friends friends and family i'll help there, out there but other go. than that no desire to do it anymore now, now let me let me ask you what do you think some of the um what were some of the reasons we were successful today? You think bait, was it a variety of bait? Was it the rig? Biggest thing is variety of bait. You know, we take live shrimp, pinfish, greenbacks, frozen bait, squid, sardines. Everything in here. And then even slow pitch jigs, and you guys brought some jigs. We yeah. just always bring a huge variety of yep. bait just to try everything. You know, yep. some people go out with just 
just frozen bait, and that's it. Well, and that's the thing. That, I thought that was impressive. He stopped and got the uh, pinfish out of his trap, a little hidden trap. We can't let you know <laughs> where. It's secret. But uh, it was really cool, guys, because, you know, oftentimes around the boat, we had five or six different uh, rods down, and uh, oftentimes they all had different baits. And then Chris caught some really nice fish on uh, the fish lab and also some of Brian's jigs. That was really fun. Slow pitch. It, Slow pitch jigs are fun. I mean, that rod that you got there is pretty cool. I definitely want to get something like that for the slow pitch, and I'm going to check in with Akuma to see. I might be able to get you a couple rods. Absolutely. Tests, We'd love to try them out. Yeah, They're be... fun. I mean, the slow pitch is great. It just, when they are on the slow pitch, it's on fire. Yeah. It's just so much fun because the bite, because they're trying to catch that jig going up and yep. down, and the, the, the bite on it is twice as hard. And I think, Chris, you got a 23-inch mango on that, didn't you? I think it's 24, 25. 24, 25-inch yeah. mango on a slow pitch rod, which that thing looked like a monster. I on thought a, it was 30. Five, no, not the slow pitch rod, on the 5-ounce. Oh, that was, that was on the 5-ounce fish the, lab. Yeah, That's the, right, but that the, that the cool too, lab, but that's cool, too, man. It's still the same, you know, artificial down there on the bottom bouncing Dude, around. I, th I think you're going to have to add some of them fish labs to your, you know, Ab arsenal a little Ab bit. Absolutely. We're, we'll, we'll be waiting on some. Listen, if you guys want to book an offshore trip, that's not my forte. Just, you know, I, I prefer inshore. So I think Brian and Steven are going to be the guys to get you out here to, to catch the American snapper or the gags when they're in season, reds, things like that. How? would they reach you if they wanted to? Uh, easiest way is give me a shout on my cell phone, 813-355-1424. If I don't answer, we're more than likely offshore. You can leave a message or shoot me a text. That's the easiest way to get a hold of us. Hey guys, we had a really good time. Uh, it was pretty nice out. Winds were a little higher early on, but it wasn't bad. I mean, the Contender's a great boat. I'm a, It runs. Uh, I have to give them props. I've been in yellow fins. I've been in a lot of different boats, but I really like the Contender. So if you're in the boat market, and, hey, I'm not plugged, by the way, but Contender, if you want to, you know, hook a guy up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, hit me up at SaltySkills.com. <laughs> All right, guys, make sure you give a thumbs up. Comment below. I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, we'll see you on the water. All right, guys, something cool that we're doing is we're going to go in here to the island grill, and we got our own fish. They're going to cook it up. We're going to sit down and enjoy a meal, try to get rehydrated. Let's go. Flavored water. Flavored water. It's going to be the black end.